Welcome to the highlights of the second ODI between the Wendy's and Bangladesh in the IPA ODI series powered by Minister, co-sponsored by Marcel. A very important game for both teams with Bangladesh looking to try to wrap up a series. The Windies trying to level it in a Providence in Guyana. So it was something to be looked forward to with the pitch, a slow one again, which offered a little bit of purchase for the spinners. It, it really is something of a tradition with these pitches at Providence. The toss was won by Bangladesh and uh, they elected to field first. confirmation of the teams. The Windies had one change with Kimo Paul coming in to replace Andre Russell who was suffering from some discomfort in the knee and Bangladesh unchanged. Let's go straight to the top of the action now with Atar Ali Khan and Fazir Mohammed. It's a sweltering sunshiny afternoon here in Guyana at Providence where we see the West Indies intent on keeping this series alive I'm grateful to see all of that blue sky because there's been a tremendous amount of rain since sunday especially overnight into this morning in fact just an hour ago it was coming down but it's cleared up allowed for us to have a prompt start and the westerners will be looking to their most experienced campaigner chris gill to lead them from the top certainly showed intent in the first match before he was run out Evan Lewis very much in a similar mold to Gale might be a slightly different type of player but also left-handed and really likes to go after the bowling sometimes with maybe not the best judgment everything however went the way of Bangladesh and their captain described as the warrior by his coach Stephen Rhodes He's in the right place to be the warrior, Mashraf Imortaza. This is warrior country. The Guyana Amazon Warriors of uh, the Caribbean Premier League are based here. And the indigenous peoples of uh, Guyana have their own warrior tradition. So if you want to be a warrior and perform like one, this certainly is the environment to do so. One warrior against another to get us going. Not a bad way to start. Beautifully played onto the legs. It's clipped away by Chris Gale and he picks up his first boundary. Lovely touch from the big man. The US and his fans who've come in already will be heartened. See that start from Gale, the big man. And after an excellent first delivery. This one half volley on the legs. Going over the top. Mindful of the long off and easily beat him. Mashabi the pitching one up and he went for a boundary. Clipped away by Chris Gill in the previous over. Good stride in and knew exactly where he wanted to hit it because there was no one in the deep in that direction. Very good for Mehdi. Loud shout, but umpire not interested. A maiden. After four windies at ten without loss. Well, this one is taking flight. Single prop or not, it's gone away. Turbo prop. This time, the third time, it's gone all the way. That's a cracking shot. One of his favorites because he picks up the length so quickly, swivels around and hit it up. For 75 meters, a flat six. Well, he decided to do something different. Said he'd make the room, and he did so. Ends the quest for another maiden over. That's even better. All the way to end the over. So four dot balls followed by a four and a six. Started right on target. And then finishing up, first with the straight four and then that six. Taking him easily over long on. Ah! Ah! It's not a bad shout. Yes, 
given him. This time the breakthrough is separating the pair of Evan Lewis and Chris Gale. It's in line, top of middle. Yeah, excellent from uh, the skipper. Picks up his first wicket. Windy is 29 for one. Shea Hope is uh, the new batsman. Key position at number three in the order. Not a bad average, but someone of the ability that we've seen as it's shown itself at times. Suggests that he should be far more productive and more consistent. Just past mid wicket. Bigger side of the ground today. That western half of the field. Jumped all over that Chris Gale. Pressure on Mustafizur straight away. Now opening his shoulders. It's not much in the middle. And you don't bowl that short and that slow to Chris Gale. And that will help. 50 comes up for the West Indies. Taking a lot of overs. This is a good shot from Shea Hope. Oh, that one. Didn't know too much about that one. An interesting seam position as it goes down, isn't it? Very laid off seam position. What he, he would do quite often, Mustafi Zuru, is bowl those cutters, scramble seam, ripping his fingers down the ball at the back end at times. Nice. Starting to get into his stride now, Sheho. Textbook off drive. Wasn't all the way up to him. Let it come to him off the surface got on top of it and just timed it nicely and it's a big appeal and it's given well Chris Gale playing across that one got the impression that maybe he was trying to get him to play this shot he kept backing away not, being, not getting any, any room and decided now to Chris Gale goes for 29. As decision was out. And West Indies now 55 for two. Shimron Hetmeyer to the crease. It, keeping a touch low on that occasion and uh, seam from the other end 65 for two so he'll know that he'll be well aware of it and they want to oh he's hustling his hit my well played yeah good aggressive running yes, yes. oh I set him up the slowness of delivery once again from the maestro, Shakib Al Hassan has accounted for Shea Hope. It looks like that, but it was a little bit slower and on the shorter side. Just going through the shot. On a soft dismissal in the end. Shabir Rahman does the rest. He'll be very disappointed once again. Getting dismissed uh, after getting set. Shakib Al Hassan picks up his first wicket of the series. Shea Hope gone for 25. Wendy's 77 for three.
is left. Three down now. Time for Jason Muhammad. 28 matches. Oh, there's that average. That is average. Wants to get that up. More flight. Beautiful flight. And I think it's, a, it's the delivery previous to the wicket-taking ball is what I liked. Again, it's, it's the pace of it, yeah, towards the bottom of the blade. Oh, it was a little bit too full. It's gone past the fielder. I should go to the boundary. Boundary to finish up the over. It's not only about consolidating and establishing themselves, giving the West Indies innings some impetus. Connected well with that one. Good way to finish the over. Finished well in that over from Shakib. Local boy picking up a boundary. Edged inside edge. Definitely. Not too much doubt about that. Too close to him, too close to be off stump. And the ideal start for Rubel, he was expensive in the first game compared to his other bowling teammates. And he's followed up the good work done early with a wicket of his own. 12 to Mohammed on 0-2 for 4. Good hit. Stood up, waited for it and delivered. Still half the innings to go for these two young players to try to cement a partnership. Trying to get debris which had accumulated on the surface. Well, he's picked that up and deposited it over mid-wicket. Or to Shimran Hetmeyer. Well, that's hit really hard over long on and goes all the way. First one has been uh, put away for a six deep in his crease. That's a cracking shot uh, from Hetmeyer. Uh, he's managed to get that past mid wicket. And another boundary is proving to be a very good over for the West Indies. First, it was Hatrai who hit a big six of the first delivery with the turn, the right hander. That's wide of long on. He should cut it off. But they still get two. And there's his 50. Second in consecutive innings for Shimron Hetmeyer. And it could not have come for at a better time for the West Indies. Just eludes mid-off. Oh, backing up the basics in the field. Oh, they won't get an overthrow or an extra one. Another one. Oh, got the dive out on this occasion. But he is living dangerously. Young Hetmeyer. Again, it's another cutter. There must have been all four of them in this over from Mortaza. The ball is gripping in the surface. Slashed it away. Done enough to get four. Yeah, well, he's got to get that strike rate up. He's uh, 59 strike rate, and he's been there for some time now. In fact, he's been there exactly the same amount of deliveries as Hetmeyer. Nicely struck from Rothman Powell. Ten runs off the over, 182 for four.
Oh, that could be tight. They will go upstairs, I'm sure that Richard Ellingworth will go upstairs. It's a wise thing to do. Okay, forward, one frame, one more, one more, one more, one more. Okay, he's in. You can load not out on the big screen. Load not out on the big screen, please. And Ian Bishop is just sighed with relief. He's gone down the ground. He's got some muscle on that, Shimron. And this crowd loves it. Well, just flag all that and fat it downtown. Give it some long handle and take full toll. Almost. Just how easily Hetmeyer scores at a runner ball. Easily. Two is a call. wonder I just wonder you watch watch Rothman now he turns now watch how much he just cruises he's cruising still cruising and then all of a sudden the last part of it the last couple of meters he's had to stretch out and he would have been gone had that bounce throw been right over the stumps it wasn't the worst throw from Shabir Beautifully struck. Well, I was just wondering where he's going to go. And in a way, Shakib Halasan has fed him into an area that he likes. Rubel strikes. Bold straight. And has some success struck early in his first spell as well as first over of the day. Here's the slingy little Ruben Hussain. Yeah, little might be a little inside edge on it, but it does tend to go that way. The right-handed quick up against the right-handed batsman with it just tailing enough and skidding enough. Powell out for a nice compiled 44. Windies, 205 for five. gone high but has he hit it well enough maybe not maybe not two oh it's bounced over the fence it's gone for six Bangladesh have not excelled in the field and it's shocked that's a shocker from Shaq no no brother no it's a reverse cup take from a man who's what played almost 200 one-day internationals for Bangladesh he can't be thinking of 100 here, and he isn't. He might get to it. But the important element for the West Indies is that Hitmeyer keeps on blazing away. That's what he's come in for. He's got those long arms, the power. That was right in his arc to really have a go. And he started well. Just a bit too ambitious, getting carried away. And the experience of Shakib once again, knowing the charge was on and adjusting his length. So Holder goes for seven. The West Indies now 224 for six. No push, and this time I think, yes, they will. Not too much urgency shown by the fielders there and they get through quite easily 45 overs gone it's 232 for six miscued chance taken Tommy McBall safe pair of hands not quite sure where Ashley Nurse was trying to hit this delivery he knew it was going away from him across him trying to tug across it I guess just slices it up in the air and the simplest of catches. Nurse has to go for three. 46 overs have gone. It's 236 for seven. Kimo Paul has come to the middle to join his fellow Guyanese. Hetmeyer on 98. He's called for two immediately. No, they won't. That would have been trouble. He connected with that very well. 
and gets four. Not a bad way to get off the mark, fetching that from wide outside off. Edged and gone, another one. Another one for Rubel Hussein. And the innings continuing to just stutter and stumble at a time when they should be charging on. Well, things have changed drastically in the last couple of overs. As Paul goes for four, he's 241 for eight. That's it, that's the landmark. The youngest West Indian player to score a one-day international hundred in the West Indies, Shimron Hetmeyer. Well, you can't say enough about the way he's applied himself. Shimron Hetmeyer came out and really took responsibility for the innings. Played very smartly. Hold him! Off the bottom edge. Mustafi Zur, change of pace. Running the fingers down the side of the ball. A lazy shot accounts for Bishu without scoring. 242 for nine. That's a good hit into the late evening sky. Well, he's opened his shoulders here. This one went high, but really far. There he goes again. Six more over square leg. He's picked him out. He's picked his spot. And he's gotten it twice. Juicy full toss of the toe of the bat. But it's going to be called no ball for the height. Slicing the free hit just away from cover. Direct hit and he might have been in more trouble. Took the charge and launches him over the top. Premeditated and it worked for him. But then he did the hard part. Got it in the middle of the bat. squirted away and they're gonna push and I don't think he's gonna make it I review for run out could you give me the side on angle breaks okay just take it back one frame okay the bail is off you can load out on the big screen you can load out on the big screen So the innings is over, pushing hard for the second run. The gas tank almost empty, but he's played well. Still, the coach will be a bit peeved that they couldn't carry on for four more deliveries. Congratulations sportingly from the captain, Mashrafi, for his 100, and Tamim, and in fact, everyone from the Bangladesh team, close enough to Shimron Hetmeyer, applauding his 100. A lot of quality in that innings. Just couldn't take it right to the end, but trying to get the strike back and uh, just short of his ground. The fine innings from young Shimron Hetmeyer has put what was a stuttering West Indian innings in a position where they've got a score that they would feel happy defending. The Windies recovered well from a slightly slippery start to finish on 271. That was certainly a very classy innings from a young Shimron Hetmeyer, 125 at good pace, just 93 deliveries. He got some support from Rovman Powell, which the Windies will certainly feel pleased about. Two wickets for Mustafi Zur, two wickets as well for Shaki, but it was Rubel Hussein with three for 61 that was the leading wicket taker which meant that Bangladesh needed 272 from their 50 overs at just under five and a half per over to try to win the contest. 
lots of entertainment there from the Windies batsman. We'll take a short break and when we come back, we'll have all the highlights from the Bangladesh run chase. Tommy McBall got a hundred on Sunday and his experience has proved vital for Bangladesh in being ahead in this series against the West Series with the chance to close it out tonight here at Providence. Animal Hawk didn't get going at all in uh, that first encounter under overcast skies he fell for a duck to Jason Holder. This is his opportunity now under the lights with Alzari Joseph getting first use of the white ball to make an impact. And then clear right away. Just short of a Hetmeyer. Already, he's into the act. Two balls bowled, he's been kept busy. Well bowled, that came back. That came back. After pitching, fortuitous boundary for Tammy McBall. First one was short and across him. He was cut it down to third man. This one, much tighter line. Good hit. Taking it with the bounce and the angle. That will give him confidence, Animal. This will just add to the confidence. Too hot to handle. You really laced into that one. So both Holder and Alzari Joseph have to get the length. There's something in between from where they've operated so far. Get him! Another gift that's gone all the way. Poor bowling, excellent batting. Danamol is prepared to take on the short ball. But to find out quickly what a good length has to offer. There he goes again, down the track. Is it a spinner who's bowling? He's gone over long on. It's almost a deflating shot if you're a bowler. First he walked at Jason Holder and then he hit it right back down the ground. Well, he's got him now. And he's sending him on his way. Top of off, top of off, gives him a little send off, but he held his composure, Alzari Joseph, under the pressure that was put on by Animal Haku goes for quick fire 23, 32 for one. The first match, Shakib Al Hassan joined Tamim in a big partnership, 207 for the second wicket. He got to 97, Shakib. This could race away. Again with that extra bit of sheen on the outfield. The few droplets of dew will help it along. Too much width and it's going to be four more. Too short. I'm sure that will be in the short length if we had a pitch map again. So he's struggling to find the appropriate length in as much of the line. Again, short and wide, their fastest 50 ever in one day international cricket. 
We're just in the fifth over and it's 53 for one. Another boundary. Eight fours, two sixes in 6.1 overs. Someone has got to tell the Windies bowlers that the good length is there for a reason to be hit. Was becoming embarrassing. Again, short and wide, put away. This is good batting. Very good from Shakib Al Hasan. Enjoying this uh, surface. Ball coming into, coming nicely onto the bat, and it's not that short or wide. Just a touch short, and he's uh, onto the back foot and picks it up very nicely. Thickish outside edge. Play in the end, pick up a wicket or two. So two more added uh, of the last uh, ball. Six in that over. Bangladesh cruising along at 86 for one. And enjoy some time in the middle. Again. Oh, don't have to stress with the two. That got what it deserved. Hit very hard. And the hundred comes up for Bangladesh. Really good sound off the bat. It's almost as if Tamim had been expecting it from the previous short ball, which he ducked. Beautifully played. Will be cut off. No, it won't. Ruffman Powell. Beautiful shot. But so casual from Powell. He was right there with it. Forty-second half century in ODIs for Tammy McBall. Such an important foundation block of uh, Bangladesh's batting, backing up his hundred in uh, the previous ODI here on Sunday. That's well hit. Won't go all the way, but they'll get a couple. Good effort. Good stop by Jason Mohammed. Saved the boundary. And that's why he responded. It's exactly what he and the West Indies would have been looking for. They needed to get a wicket. They needed to separate them. And Bishu has done it. Just what the host needed. A little bit of flight, a little bit of confidence to throw it up. And the confidence, well, the overconfidence of Tamim Iqbal is his undoing. He's got to a half century, but he's got out. Well, it's almost like a run out rather than a stumping. He goes for 54, does Tamim, and the second one down, now 129. Mushfiqur Rahim played an important little hand, a little cameo on Sunday. He blazed 31 of 11 balls and pushed Bangladesh closer to 280. It's a nice end of the over because uh, he'll keep the strike with Mushy. you will like that. He gets off the mark. Feel a little bit of bat on that leather. 131 for two. Very well bowled. 
No review available. This shows you what a wicket will do for your confidence. Beauty. Pitched around leg stump. Hmm. It's a good shout, but yeah, you can't blame Gregory Brathwaite thinking, I think it's gone too much off the straight. That's 50. Shakib following up his 97. Would have been looking for that 100. Maybe too concerned with the 100 on Sunday. But he's played another important hand for Bangladesh. 39 50s. Another good shot he's given him this time. He's got the chance to review. He's got the option. Mushfikur. They're going to have a discussion suggesting it's going down leg. They're going to review it. Can you just rock and roll it slowly, nice and slow? Forward, forward. Okay, there's a gap between bat and ball. There's no need for ultra edge. You can go for ball tracking when ready. Pitching in line, impact in line. Wicket's missing. You need to reverse your uh, decision now, Gregory. I will let you know when you're on screen. Yes, you're on screen now. Make the signal. Good judgment. Excellent judgment. Big heave ho out in the deep. One bounce forward looks like, yeah, it is. Just trying to release that pressure. 28 overs completed, 139 for two. Get it now. A fish gone, one more. Uh, this is a big wicket. I was talking about Tamim Iqbal, but this is Shakib Al Hassan. And Ashley Nurse strikes. On the surface, they're getting the ball to grip. Pressure has been created. And Tamim and Shakib will look at two shots. Pressure's on now. Shakib goes for 56. One, four, five for three. That's why I would have a short leg in there's bounce and turn. They can't believe it. 146 for three. It's a good hit, good meaty blue. 150 comes up for Bangladesh. And he's played that with the turn. That is a pretty good shot. That's gone maximum. That's one of his uh, favorite, uh, favorite areas. Uh, good work in the deep. Ball to start with a short one and put away. Only be a single. That should have been put away. Missed out by Mahmudullah. Get it! Oh, dropped it. Has he dropped it? Did it carry? Did it carry? Looked like there was a chance, a genuine chance. Beautifully bowled again. Oh, oh yes, it's dropped. Gets it. What a great delivery. And uh, well, gets the treatment. Over started out pretty promisingly. Uh, just pulling this one down. That's gone all the way. Oh, yeah. Stunning. Wonderful cricket stroke for Mumadullah. Watch this. And admire. Oh, yeah. Another one for the archives. Racing away, but not for four. Jason Muhammad 
cuts off the boundary. Still a dozen off the 39th. It's 193 for three. And that's going to go for four. That's why he's so dangerous, Mushfikur. Wonderful exponent at this. Mushfikur Rahim. Premeditated, back that was going to be a good length. And it's short and dragged down and disappears. He's too good to miss out on those. Mushvika. Tempted slower ball. Mushvikur was ready for it. Just had to beat that man at backward square leg. Gotcha! Just a single. And that's a beautiful stroke. Has he got enough on it? You better believe it. That is what I mean about the bowler having to get it right. Because you don't, you disappear. This is just so beautifully timed. Just changed his blade. Asking the question, run out chance here, they put one end, easy, complete mix up. Ashley Nurse with the return, finding his captain. Hit the Mushwika Rahim, and the ball was right there, never a run there. Mushwika was not even interested. And in that situation, to go and uh, look for a quick single. That's a big mistake. Partnership comes to an end uh, due to a run out. Mahmoudullah gone for 39. Bangladesh 232 for four. Fifty comes up for Mushfikur. Fifth. Uh, your Bangladesh keeper against the West Indies. Four of them have been scored by Mushfikur. That's gonna help. Outside edge, so often. Found a gap, this could run away, it will. That's what they need. He played it beautifully, got on top of it, nice roll of the wrist and found the gap. Finds the boundary. That comes from the bat of Mushfikur Rahim, moves on to 58. Back over the bowler's head. Has he gotten enough? He has. Tilting the balance once again. That's a very good shot. That's gone. Into the deep and taken. Safe pair of hands. It was not a bad shot, but uh, just didn't get enough on the bat. And it is a very good, well judged catch in the deep. Shabir goes for 12. Bangladesh will need eight from six balls. 264 for five. Full toss miscued. Chance for the catch. Taken. Kimo ball. Simplest of catches. Just couldn't time it. He knew the moment he hit it that he's not going to clear that fielder. And it is an easy, easy catch for Kimo Paul. After a very well played uh, 68 of 67, 264 for six. Eight from five. Swish and a miss. Eight from four. Back to the ball and no run. Eight from three. Big heave. Out in the deep. One, two. That's all there'll be. Six needed of two balls. It's well bowled. It's really well bowled. It's just only a single. 
They need five from one ball to tie. Beg your pardon, to win. Four to tie. The touching distance. Can he do it? Oh! Windies win it. They level the series. Still one to go. What a comeback. Bangladesh looked to be in control, but uh, what a terrific over this is from Jason Holder. And the crowd goes wild. Why not? Windies win by three runs. And the series is level 1-1. One, one. And it's Bangladesh's narrowest defeat outside their home country. It required a boundary. And Mashrafi, the match-winning hero of three days earlier, has to give way to his opposite number. Jason Holder celebrating a victory that didn't look likely as recently as five minutes ago. The series remains alive going to St. Kitts. Bangladesh finishing on 268 for six. They looked in control of this run chase when Tamim was going with Shakib. Half centuries to them both. The top scorer was Mushfiku, who had a very good partnership with Mamadula, but it came to pieces in that final over when Mushfiku was dismissed. The figures for the Windy Seamers aren't splendid, but it was the key last over by Jason Holder, which followed on a Nurse and Bishu having a really good economical outing on a pitch that assisted them a lot. Just four runs allowed off that final over by Jason Holder when eight were needed, so the Windies got home by just three runs.